so it is time to pack for this trip and honestly I've literally been putting it off because I've been busy at work and so I'm gonna have you pack along with me but we are gonna try some packing bags to hopefully help and we'll see how it goes all right so don't mind me looking so like down on energy and tired it is like after midnight uh, our flight leaves at 8 which means we need to be there at like 5 and I decided for this vacation that I would take like a two three hour nap wait for around midnight or so and finish packing because I set out all of the clothes so uh, we're gonna see how it goes because I can sleep on a plane but Either way, we're gonna use these packing, like vacuum bags, they're roll or vacuum bags, but um, see how they do. Hopefully they help us pack and I'll go from there. So these are all my clothes. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but it's kind of bunched together. All of those are my swimsuits, which they should look similar or familiar because um, I did a haul on them, but these are all the clothes that I'm taking with me. I'm not planning on wearing a lot because hopefully we should just be relaxing by the pool. Your love is what I need. Is this suitcase completely unpacked? These are the packing compression bags. So I'm sure that you can use them for if you're just putting stuff away like fall clothes, all that kind of stuff. But we did have to buy a new suitcase and decided to get a good suitcase from Samsonite. Um, and they also had these bags. These were $20, I believe. But it has 12 packs in their total. So I guess if you need to and want to, you can pack things together. But it includes this. Then on the side, gives you more of a breakdown of like what it can hold so I guess this large one here is 12 sweaters so honestly it looks like I probably fit all my clothes maybe in one two sweaters one jacket one sweater one jacket cosmetics then on the back it actually tells you how to do it Looks pretty simple, so hopefully it is easy to use, like it says. Pack, seal, roll, or vac. And I guess the big one is the only one that you can vacuum. And stow away. But reusable, there's a slide, and like I said, we're gonna see how these work. So I think my method to my madness or the method to my madness. I will pack all of my clothes first so I have the whole bed to use, to roll in the space, and then I will show you um, the hubby's clothes and how much he has, and then how much I was able to pack into his cubes, because I'm basically just gonna use the, you know, divide the cubes in two and use them. But uh, let's get to it, I guess.
corner. A little small one. This one is a good size. Here's the vacuum, I guess, part of it. So I think I'll pack my suitcase, suit, swimsuit, that can't see it. First, this is the medium size bag. I think they can all fit in there definitely. So I'm gonna fold and put them in. That's like seven swimsuits, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six swimsuits. A lot of seven, maybe I'm missing one. So it's like seven swimsuits. So it says to close the bag. And then we're going to roll towards the bottom. I don't know if you can hear the air coming out. the air coming out of it as I'm rolling. It's kind of, it's vacuum tight. You see I was rolling and it stayed. it so you don't want to lose it but I guess it's good if you lose one you can take it off another one so swimsuit pack so I really like the medium size bag even though that's the only bag I've used so far so I'm gonna do I think maybe all my shirts in here we'll do shirts as many shirts as I do bottoms, but that's okay because they're using the medium ones. Okay?
So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven, eight. A mix of shirts, romper, crop tops. That's all in there, about eight of them. I'm gonna go ahead and seal, which is really easy to seal. Just using a little zipper thing that they have on there. And it seals it and stops. And it's gonna roll again. See the air? Air out of it. Shirts are packed. Alright, so I'm gonna use the big one for the rest of my clothes. So far, that's three jean shorts. Go ahead and do my dresses. Wear biker shorts, some yoga pants, capris, and a regular shorts. Another biker short and a regular pair of shorts. I didn't count, but that's what I have in there. Closing. Somewhat satisfying. Also, think rolling this on a heart a top would probably be better, not a bed. But this is what we're working with today. Tonight, this morning. Um, so, I will say I have nails, and it's not like penetrating this, which is good. this or not. Also, this one vacuums, but I didn't like going out the vacuum. So. Probably could have put more in there, but I'm trying also not to overpack. my clothes. 
I'll show you what it looks like in the suitcase. So, so far, I've only done my stuff. Don't mind my underclothes. These are the first two bags that we rolled and I actually put this like in the top part of the suitcase because it kind of fit perfectly. And then on the other side is this one. So I definitely have plenty of room to have that other big bag with his clothes. I have also like this middle flap I can use. And I can put probably another small bag in there depending on what I put in there. But I am a fan so far. Let's do his clothes. All right, again, don't mind the messy bed. This is all of his clothes. Good pile of stuff, some thick stuff, so we will get to rolling and packing. I'm gonna use one of the little ones for the wedding outfit. I do the wedding stuff and all the t-shirts or whatever I can do. I think I sealed it all the way. I still have room for more, but 
probably see them not putting them in the room. All right, back to our bag. So this is the first bag that we put in. The second bag, I'm gonna give you the side view. It's actually like laying flat. So it looks like I can actually put maybe more on top if I need to. I am using this middle section. And then that are, those are the three bags that I did, the three medium sized bags. So the only thing I have left to put in here are toiletries and more underclothes. But I think the bags helped. At least I'm gonna believe that they helped. All right, so bonus bag. I decided to do all of our underclothes in a bag two. I think I might leave this. Because it looks like I should be able to fit the toiletries bag right there. I'll squish everything and tight. I'm loving it. So I forgot to film when I got to Mexico because I was just excited about getting to Mexico because it was vacation time, it was beach time, it was pool time. If you have not already planned on it, make sure that you come back to see my videos. My review, we did a review on JetBlue. We did a review on the two different resorts that we stayed in, in Mexico. And I think just an overall one. So make sure that you come back for those. But I did want to come back and tell you my overall thoughts about using the packing bags or the vacuum bags. Stay tuned. All right, so welcome back. Like I said, I'm gonna do a quick little review, my thoughts on using those vacuum bags for packing and for our travel to Mexico. I ended up having two of the big bags that I used, and then I believe three or four of the medium-sized bags for uh, just our clothes. I did love that I could separate the clothes, our clothes, so we knew that if I was going to this bag, this was my bag of clothes. And so that really, really helped with trying to figure out what I wanted to wear, or even if I had some rompers, I didn't have to open the big bag. I can open the little bag and then actually sealing it back was not hard at all. I literally just did the exact same thing that I did in the video so that I could roll it back into the um, suitcase and put it all back together, which honestly, I would have had to do that kind of stuff anyways for repacking the bags. So doing that, while on vacation, all of that stuff was honestly a breeze. And I absolutely love being able to use the packing bags. Another pro that I had, or like positive thing that I loved about having the packing bags, typically I am a person that when we are going on vacation, I will put all the dirty clothes together because I don't want them to be get together and I guess contaminate each other. So once you got to a certain level of the actual bags being empty, I made one of the bags a dirty clothes bag. So then when we were going to get clothes, I didn't have to go back and open all the bags again. And we were downsizing on the bags we were using. So that meant I didn't have to pack one of those net bags to put dirty clothes in. 
And to me, that was also a win too, because I would have done something like that anyways. So glad that I was able to use it for that. Another random thing that I actually used the bags for was for, um, I know I'm gonna say it's for dirty clothes, but we had some items that were not all the way dry yet. So since I was able to consolidate bags, I had extra bags. So I was able to put anything that was wet, anything that was gonna need some kind of immediate attention when we got either back home or to the other resort, all in one bag so that I can get that bag also. So being able to segregate the items as needed was really a, a big, big win for me for using these vacuum bags. I think the only con or thing, it's not even a negative because to me it's not really a big thing. The only con I would have about these bags is how much force you need to put into rolling them. I probably honestly should have had D help me with it because he's much stronger than me. Plus I actually did it on a solid counter and that did help, but you do have to put a lot of elbow grease muscle into rolling those bags up. So be ready for a little bit of a workout with your arms because you will need it with rolling everything back together. But as far as their sturdiness, like again, I still have nails. None of them were pierced by my nails and I know that I poked it a couple of times. They're definitely reusable and none of them tore, so I really love that. But overall, using these packing bags were a win and I definitely plan on using them over and over again. Uh, oh, another random, not con, but random thing to think about. If you are over packer, these will make you over pack and if they're already vacuum bagged, then it's harder to pull some of that information out or some of that stuff out. So think about that when it comes to your packing because if your suitcase is overweight, you will need to finagle what you need to do to, to organize that. But other than that, I love these packing bags and these vacuum bags from Samsonite. I definitely recommend you buying them. I didn't even use all the bags that were in that box and I think that I paid maybe $20 for all of them. So more than enough room to actually pack and be able to go. All right, so that is all that I have for you today. I, overall, I love the packing bags. I loved everything that they allowed me to do and to keep myself organized because clothes were not everywhere. But if you have a better way that you organize or another way that you organize, let me know in the comments below because I'm always open for suggestions. And then if you like these packing bags or you actually have them, let me know down below too. Until next time though, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you back. Bye y'all.